Bonjour, comment ça va? Ça va bien? Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here in France. I decided to film another video in France because I went to the French pharmacy, I went to Sephora, and I really wanted to show you what I got while I'm still here. Reed is down by the pool reading. We are in our final destination of the trip. It is the town of Vence. It is still in the south of France, still in the French Riviera, but it's a little bit higher up towards the mountains from where I'm sitting, which of course I'll show you at the end of the video. I can see Nice, I can see um, Cap Ferrat, I can see the Mediterranean Ocean, I can see the Mediterranean, and um, it is just absolutely stunning, the most beautiful view. And I just felt like talking to you because why the heck not? And I wanna show you everything I got while I'm really excited about it and before I've tested it all so we can just talk about a haul and then you guys can tell me what you're interested in seeing a review of. Anyways. I may just be doing skincare. I might add in a few things I got from Sephora because I really just want to talk about the things that I picked up in uh, France that are like specific to France and or European products. So let's just get started. As I said, my name is Rudy. We talk about skincare, makeup. We do vlogs. We do hauls. Um, we do a lot of stuff here. We talk, basically do old YouTube with new makeup and I would love to have you subscribe. Okay, so I think we should go brand by brand. If you haven't seen my video of me inside the French pharmacy I have that it's a short and I just kind of give you a little preview of all of the different brands that were at this pharmacy I've learned that the pharmacies that I went to were quite small in comparison to the ones let's say in Paris got most of my things in Saint-Tropez and in Cap Ferrat which are smaller in the in the south part of France so it's not like they had huge like city centers type of thing it was more just like smaller places so I wasn't able to get ex like every single thing that I wanted to or that people told me but a lot of what I did get was recommendations from you guys so if you don't follow me on Instagram it is at the Rudy Berry and I always ask for recommendations not only on content but on products or what you guys want to see and I have a larger European following that I realized and so they gave me a ton of recommendations on things to pick up. Let's start with the brand that you would obviously assume that I grabbed a lot of, which is La Roche-Posay, and I got quite a bit of things. So first of all, let's start with the smaller items that I got um, as samples. My The pharmacist that was there, I told her I was so excited to be there because I love skincare and all of this. So she threw a bunch of La Roche-Posay samples into my bag. First one being, uh, this is a Tolarian uh, cleanser for makeup removal. This is just a little mini and it's so freaking cute. Like this is perfect for travel. I haven't tried this yet because I have been using just, I haven't tried this yet because I'm using my current cleansers, but this is just everything that was there was sensitive skin focused, which is like sort of the bread and butter of the French pharmacy. But I'm really excited to use this. It's a from the Tolarian line, which I absolutely love. And I think this will be great for travel. And I might try it tonight to get off some of my um, eyeshadow. I got a mini of the Libicar Bomb AP Plus, which they have in the United States. I've been using this. If you guys didn't know, I talked about in one of my last videos that I have this giant, I don't know if you guys can see, sorry, I'm like still figuring out this damn camera. I I had an infected pimple. It is almost gone, thank Gord, because my um, freckle pen shoot is right when I get back to the United States. So I have been using the AP Plus Balm on this along with something else that we're going to talk about. And it has done a really good job of keeping it very hydrated and safe. And I just love that they gave me a little mini of that. They also gave me a mini of the Tolarion Cream, which I do believe is just like an ultra sensitive skin moisturizer. And something from the Effaclair line. This is their Purifying foaming gel for oily skin the Effaclair line is for acne prone skin if you see this color of their product where it's like this bluish shade it's usually for oily and acne prone skin so that is awesome and I feel like Reed would probably love to use that um, while traveling but the three main things that I picked up myself I'm really excited about and none of them are available in the US so the first thing that I picked up and the first thing I looked for was items from the Cicaplast line because I love the Cicaplast line obviously we love all of the bombs and the products from that line but they recently came out with a Cicaplast uh, spray and I immediately was looking for that product and they didn't have it I think it's like recently gone viral so people are absolutely going feral for it but one thing they did have was the gel version of the Cicaplast. This is the B5 um, Cicaplast gel. And basically this is a lighter weight version 
of their Cicaplast Balm, if you've ever tried that. And it's got sort of like a gel, clear, balmy gel texture to it. And I had a little bit of like an irritated rash right here on my chest and I used this on it while I've been in France. I'm trying not to use too much of anything because I really want to save all of this for when I get home. But I'm really excited about this. It's very, very lightweight. They also had a ton of products for um, rosacea prone skin. At the pharmacy which i don't have i was really tempted to grab them but i decided against it and i also didn't want to have to bring like an entire new suitcase of product but i'm really excited about this especially as we get towards the summertime i also grabbed something that i've been really really liking and have been wearing while i've been here and this is their hydrophase bb cream it's spf 15 and it is in the shade medium and i wore this on my birthday um at the beach on top of my sunscreen but it looks like this i have never seen this before i was so excited and the shade matches me pretty well it's a very lightweight mineral based sunscreen and the tint is just so light and pretty and this shade works really well for me as my summer shade i just really really like it it feels really light it feels watery it feels hydrating obviously it's a hyaluronic acid based product this was kind of expensive but it is really freaking nice 48 hours hydration luminous complexion it looked gorgeous i really really like it and i'm excited to wear this back home there's so much on here that i don't know what it's saying i'm gonna have to do some research <laughs> okay the last thing that i picked up from la roche posay is something i've been looking for which is their enthelius uv 400 their mune line sorry if i'm saying that wrong french people mune mune line this is their spf 50 line that has filters that are not available in the united states which i was super excited to try i also got the tinted version of this one just because i love tinted sunscreens but i might go back and get the non-tinted version because this one looks to be slightly dark for me and honestly it's kind of like strongly pigmented like it's a very thick cream and it looks like it will match me but you can see like it's it's quite dark um it has a nice luminous finish to it i'm gonna try it out tomorrow we are going on a um excursion tomorrow we are like just doing an entire tour of this little city and the town i just want to make sure my skin is properly protected while we're outside and obviously i need to try this i'm so excited about this one if you've tried this let me know what you think about it but that is everything that i got from la roche posay and I don't know. Everything so far has been an absolute winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right next to La Roche Posay was a Ven, and of the Ven section was just as big as the La Roche Posay. It was ceiling to floor. It was incredible. I was a little overwhelmed because I didn't even know really what to grab because I didn't know a lot of the things. And because I could not find the Cicaplast spray from La Roche Posay, I grabbed this. This is the Cica Fate. Um, Secofate spray from Aven. I had never seen this before, but my friend Carrie told me that this is really good for sensitive skin. She really likes it. She and I both have, we both have eczema and I have been using this on my body and it's got kind of a harsh spray and it's very white, but it does blend in fairly well. I think this would be more for the body than it would be for the face because when I used it on the face, it felt a little like I don't know i feel like i prefer a like um like a thicker toner over something like this but i think on the body this would be really good especially on eczema if you wanted to pair this with like the tower 28 sos spray or something like that to really layer the hydration it's meant to help face body diaper area it helps to dry and repair irritable skin and it's also for areas that are prone to superficial like wetness like skin folds diaper rash redness things like that so if you have like oozing eczema something like that this would be be a really good purchase and I don't know I was just interested in it and I wanted to grab something from Aven. Okay another brand that we do have in the U.S. but a product we don't have in the U.S. I freaking am addicted to this. This is from CeraVe. This is their hydrating foaming oil cleanser. In the U.S. I do believe we have hydrating cream to foam cleanser or something like that but this one is a straight up oil that turns into a cream it's kind of similar to the consistency of the naturium body wash like the oil body wash but for your face it is um, for normal to very dry skin you could use it on babies you can use this on eczema prone skin and this is so so good i've been using this every single day since i've picked it up and i just wish so badly we had this one in the u.s because for dry skin especially right now my skin is feeling really dry while i'm out here kind of like up higher in altitude 
This stuff is awesome. I could see them bringing it to the US maybe one day, but I'm going to have to ration this out because I like it so much. I wouldn't say it gets off a ton of your makeup, even though it has that oil base to it. I still like to have a double cleanse moment before I use this, but it is really luxurious feeling and I love it. Okay, next up I wanna talk about another product that I had heard about online and that I am freaking loving and I think is also a huge reason as to why my forehead is starting to heal so well. This is be a fiend. This, um, the aft version of this is like a lighter weight version, but essentially this is a water-based healer product that is meant to help heal sunburns and like multiple degree burns on the skin. Essentially really good with irritation and wound healing on the skin. So if you had a really bad sunburn, you would use this. I think this was made many, 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 many years ago because a man's daughter had a really bad burn and he created this product and it worked so well that they brought it to the market. This is a really high water-based product. So it's really thin and lightweight, but the way that you use it is by like layering it on your skin over and over and over so that your skin is just like absorbing this product and i have been layering it onto my eye super thick before bed so that it will sink into the skin and it's been working so incredibly well so next time i have a sunburn or irritation or anything i'm going to try biofine before i try anything else because man it worked so well like it's already starting to kind of crust up a little bit which is good like i want it to crust so it will fall off because it was a little oozy it was gross this has done wonders for me. I've never tried anything like this before, but it is very famous and popular in France for a reason. Another product that's very famous and popular in France that I picked up and I'm nervous about but excited about is the A313 or A313 Retinol. I, the first time I went into the pharmacy, I didn't see this, so I didn't think I could grab it, but I found out you have to ask the pharmacist to grab it for you from behind the counter, and then it's still an over-the-counter medication, but you just can't pick it up, like, off of the shelf. This stuff is supposed to be, like, the best retinol in the world. I'm, I honestly don't know enough about it to tell you why it's the best in the world. I just know that this is, like, a cult favorite classic product that a lot of people like to get. So I thought I would grab it. I would do a little more research into it and see how I feel about it. This is supposed to give you literal baby soft supple skin if you've used this and you've had good results let me know down below especially because i feel like french skincare is very good at making sure it's safe for sensitive skin so if that's you and you've tried this tell me let me know how you used it how often you used it the results you had if you have any tips and tricks because i am excited about this and i don't know i just thought it would be a cool thing to try out the last facial sunscreen that I got was from Bioderma. I just saw this and I thought to grab it because it was a, once again, a tinted sunscreen. Bioderma, um, this is their Photoderm Blue Light Protection, SPF 50, UVA, UVB, PA++++, and this is in the shade Golden. This is also supposed to help with um, melasma. As you can see here, this woman has melasma in the photo and it says pregnancy mask which is what they call melasma and it is um, supposed to help against the appearance and reoccurrence of pigment spots um, and helps pigmentation from worsening it's actually in the same component as the Neutrogena mineral sunscreen, which I find to be very interesting. I actually brought this with me, but it is the exact same component. I love this mineral sunscreen, but this one has a little bit of a, well, it has a different like tube bottle, but it's a little bit thicker and it's also a, a bit dark for me, of course, again, like I think this is more of a foundation type of product. It's very thick and the shade is too dark for me. It, it, these might work for me in the summer, but Honestly, I probably should have just gone for the clear shades. I just was like thinking, oh, I love tinted sunscreens. And I obviously wasn't going to open the boxes while I was in there to see if the shades would work. But I should have just gone with the regular ones. However, I will find a way to make this work because I am very interested in it. And I want to try it. And especially um, because this is to help with hyperpigmentation. And who doesn't want that? I don't know. I just kind of got in a tizzy and was like, sunscreens, put it in my car. And I also got a tiny sample of the Bioderma, the cream from the ultra nourishing moisturizing cream from the pharmacist. 
So I will definitely try that as well. Okay, speaking of sunscreens, I got a few. I picked up two body sunscreens as well for our days at the beach while we were in Saint-Tropez and in Cap Ferrat. I actually got one at our hotel because Reed and I used up all of these super goop that I brought for the trip. I brought like, I don't know, four or five different minis, but the man has a huge body his back is huge his legs are huge like he takes so much damn sunscreen so i got this one from um our hotel lobby it is called the lancaster sunsport i don't like this um this is cooling invisible body mist and the reason i don't like it is that it's cooling because it has like menthol in it and it's like minty and it feels cooling on your skin but it literally makes you like when you breathe it in you're like <gasps> like it just feels minty in your throat which i'm not a fan of I don't know, it's SPF 50, it definitely kept us protected and I like that it's a spray, but the menthol cooling part of it, I didn't like. But what I did absolutely love, and this was a recommendation from someone on Instagram, was this SVR uh, Sun Secure, the Ultra Light Invisible Nourishing Sun Water. This is amazing. This kind of reminds me of the Beekman Milk uh, Milkshake Spray where it's like, an oil and a water base. So this down here has like a bunch of hydrating ingredients and up here it has the UV filters to protect your skin. So you mix it together and you spray it on like literal water. Like I'll try and show you an example. It kind of looks like orange juice, which I love. It literally looks and feels like water on your skin. It smells good. I use this all day in Saint-Tropez on the beach didn't get a single sunburn. I didn't use anything else but this. And for reapplication, this is SPF 30. They also had an SPS, SPF 50. It's waterproof. This is incredible. Like I wish we had a formulation like this in the US and I wish I had bought more because it feels so good. Like it even makes your skin look a little. Mm. It doesn't feel like sunscreen at all. I would say if you're a person who's like, if you lived in Europe, if you're a person who doesn't like applying body sunscreen or face sunscreen because you don't like the feel of it, imagine if the Beekman milkshake had SPF 30. That's basically what this is. It is awesome. And speaking of like tanning and stuff like that, I did also pick up a Clarins Self Tan uh, Radiance Plus Glow Booster. I haven't used this, but I grabbed it because I was noticing that my body was super tan and my face was not and now it's kind of evened out so i haven't tried it yet but this is the um this is the self tan edition 99 percent natural and i picked this up actually at sephora and i'm I think I'm going to do another video later on what I grabbed from Sephora because this video is already getting kind of long. But you just put this in your moisturizer like a typical self-tanner. And um, I'm excited to try it. It was crazy seeing the amount of Clarins products at the drugstore because and at Sephora. Because I we don't have that much access to Clarins in the U.S. It was crazy. Um, so I'm excited to try this. Last but certainly not least, I had to grab some products from the brand Nooks. People love this brand for their body oil and their lip products. So obviously I bought them. When I went in, I saw this and I just immediately put it in my cart. This is the body oil that has all of the freaking shimmer in it. It comes in a spray bottle, which is really nice. And it also smells really good i wore this on my birthday dinner yesterday in saint-tropez and my entire chest was just like gleaming with beauty it is really really beautiful i'm not usually a body oil girl like this but i felt like this one was really special and i wanted to try it um i don't know how often i'm going to be wearing this at home but i will be definitely having this on my vanity i can tell you that much Apparently the pink one is the one that is viral here, but I just couldn't pass that one up. Come on It's like golden bronze with shimmer everywhere And the other two things I got were the lip mask and the lip oil slash lip care. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Gisu lip oil like it's the exact same color. It's like a honey base and look at the freaking applicator It's a little honey pot. I like it. I don't love it. I just find that it's a little it's a little thin for me. I like a really thick nourishing lip product, but it smells really good. And then this lip mask is also one of their most viral products. And I, at first, like I really didn't get it. It smells really good. It's got this like matte finish to it. And I was like, I don't really get it. And someone messaged me on Instagram and said, 
use the NYX lip mask lip mask overnight because it will actually adhere to your lips and stay on your lips all night and not wear off it's better than Laneige like it really is good at hydrating and keeping your lips super supple overnight and lasting for hours so I'm gonna try that tonight and see what I think about it because so far I'm like I like the Nukes products and I can see why they're good but I'm so particular about lip products you guys know like right now I have on my um Naturium photo fight Phyto Glow Lip Balm and Jam and like I'm sorry but this is way better than that like I do think that there are a lot of really innovative and cool French products but I will say the way that skincare and makeup has been going in the US recently has been really exciting to see I brought a lot of products with me to France that are my absolute favorites and I just think that they're working really well for me so I'm really excited to kind of start to put these into my routine as well Okay, that probably took a really long time and I didn't even get to talk about some of the makeup that I bought. So we're probably gonna have to do that in another video, but I will say that I picked up some of their, you know what, let, let me just toss it in here really quickly. The stuff that I got here that you cannot get in the US. I picked up all of their freaking care line. So I got the, um, well, first of all, I got two products that don't exist from the Best Skin Ever line. This is the Best Skin Ever Glow um, Foundation and Concealer. I'm wearing these today. Obsessed, so freaking good. Like, why don't we have this in the US? We have the Best Skin Ever line, but not the Glow version. They had the regular version and then they had this version. Obviously, I grabbed this version. Freaking obsessed. I really went in on the Sephora collection. Um, I also grabbed two things from their Care line, which I saw this lip oil and I was like wondering if it was gonna replace the one that I love. Tried this lip oil, don't really like it. I guess it's a balm. It just feels like it's not adding any hydration to your skin, it just feels like it's sitting on top, but the color is really pretty. And this um, 10 hour foundation, this is so good. Oh my gosh. This is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Leaves the most naturally gorgeous finish with really good coverage on it. So those are the things that I got from the Caroline. One other thing I got because someone literally, like the worker at Sephora, literally put this in my car. She was like, oh, this would look so good on you with your hair color. And she just put it in there. This looks exactly like the Sephora lip creams, but it's their cream lip stain. So it's actually like a stain that is left after the cream wears off. And we definitely don't have that in the US. I don't think, I'm pretty sure we don't. But I have mine, look how pretty that shade is. And she's right, it does look really good with my hair. This is in the shade uh, 80. And I wanna go back because apparently there's another shade. Oh yeah, look at that, holy crap. Apparently there's another shade that everyone in France uses. I think it's the first one, it's like this bright red. But that is so so pretty haven't tried this on the lips yet because it is super pigmented and you guys know i'm more of like just an everyday balm girl but you can see that it's left like this really nice stain behind already okay that was a lot i also bought some other stuff but it's all stuff that you can get in the u.s so i don't feel like i need to talk about it but if you have questions on what i bought me too Okay, I've never tried any of it before, so get off my back. <laughs> um, I also feel like this entire video was out of focus. Maybe I'm absolutely crazy. That's why I keep looking up because the viewfinder's above the lens. So sorry if that's the case, but um, I'm really, really excited about these products. I have had such an amazing time in France. Like I literally cannot explain to you how amazing and beautiful it's been. And um, it's probably the most prettiest place on earth. I can't imagine anything prettier. Um, but I will be home in a few days where we are doing the freckle pen photo shoot. I'm going to LA at the end of the month. I'm just, I have a lot of really fun stuff coming up that I will keep you guys abreast of. Um, so I hope you have an absolute wonderful evening, day, whatever, wherever you are. And I love you and I'll see you in the next one really soon. Bye!